Texas. Q&A. Hey everybody and welcome back to Wincom, Texas. I'm Chris Kerr. And I'm Jay Myers. You may notice that we have a slightly um, uh, improvisational different format tonight. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and that is fielding questions from you. I was trimming my fingernails and I got a little bit of a nail fungus, which I'm not able to actually grasp the stylus for the Wacom. So, yeah, we're going to field some questions from you in the interim from WacomTX at gmail.com. And feel free to go ahead and email us even after this and we'll get back to you. And we'll do another episode like this. I can't believe the height difference. Yeah. It's actually funny. <laughs> they wouldn't know that because usually we're sitting down. I know. Um, it's not that I'm a sure. giant in this <laughs> world. Because he's gangly. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, so uh, if you would, go ahead and give us, I guess, the first question. Well, Jay, our first question is from Debbie Chisp in Plainfield, and it is, when did Jay hit puberty? Uh... <clears throat> okay. All righty. That's... Did you... Well, first of all, we should say, have you hit puberty? Okay. And then after that, we can determine... All right, well, this... When. Is, okay, that's... Okay, well, that's personal... Uh, that's kind of so insulting. So you have not... Okay, so Jay... No, no, the answer not, is Jay has not hit puberty. No, that's not what I said, Chris. It doesn't matter. Which is weird because you have... All right, all right, all right. What's the next question? For real? I've been here for a long time. Okay, our next question is from Jerry Tuttle in Whitestown. And he asks, what kind of motorcycle does Chris ride? That's a good question. What kind of motorcycle do you ride? That's a good question. That's a good question. Um, I actually just got off my bike this morning and it is a Cannondale. Hmm, that is, uh, that's a bicycle. It's a, bike. it's a bike. Born to ride. Um, I ride the Metra. I ride a bicycle. <laughs> and it actually has an aftermarket motor, which I installed myself in my garage from money that I've earned from the sale of my artwork. So basically... I'm a biker. I'm a biker. Well, no, I mean, that is technically I got a the jacket. I have the um, Just Wing It Honda Goldwing t-shirt on and... Born to ride. I mean, technically, technically to ride speaking, metro. that is a motorcycle, though. If your bike, your cycle has a motor, so. Oh, yeah. I'm on a fixed hand. So you have a Cannondale. Is that it? Hands. A Cannondale or a Dale? I have a Cannondale, but I put a black electric tape around the logo because I don't want um, People to thieves know. to know that I ride an expensive bike. That is a nice bike. All right. What is the next question? Well, our next question is from Taylor Gra Grachowski. From St. Petersburg, Florida. That's a mouthful. And it is, Sorry, where yeah. does Jay buy his canvas boating shoes? Ah, that's actually a good question. I How did buy... they even know that you wear boating shoes? Because you, your feet are usually in. This guy wears boating shoes every day. Not every day, but I like them. They're comfortable. They're comfortable and they're, you can wash them in the washer. But I buy them usually, I start, I look a lot on uh... eBay. I check it usually in the mornings. When I'm eating breakfast, I look for a good deal or a good sale, and I usually get it there. But I do shop at other websites, but I usually start with eBay. We, I've seen a lot of Zappos.com boxes. Right? Some, okay, I do buy some from, from Zappos, but you know, anywhere online, I usually shop online. It's a good question. All right. Well, our next question comes from Dark Sleeper 69 hmm. well, who well, asks, kind of weird. why does Jay <laughs> keep his garbage bins behind a locked gate? Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what? Someone, someone Why does Jay gate. keep his garbage bins behind a locked gate? Someone's been following me home from the studio. That's creepy. Wait, what? Someone, <laughs> that's weird. What's the answer? Uh. Okay. Wow. Well, let's go to the next question. That's weird. Okay, next question from Nicholas Praters in Belgium. Chris is a prolific artist. How many pieces does he produce per year, and how many does he sell? Oh. How many pieces do you produce per year, Chris? Uh, a ton, actually. Yeah, 365 if you count oh, all the cell phone drawings. I believe that. And sales, it's really difficult. I have, a, <clears throat> I have an accountant that does that for me, so it would be very difficult for me to tally that up. Um, zines sell for you know, $5 a pop. I made 10 of those this year, so that could be 50 bucks. It's not bad. And then the drawings and paintings sell for a lot more, obviously. So I'll get back to you. What's the name again? Nicholas Praters. Nicholas Praters. I'll Praters. send you a personal email once I work, I'll speak with my accountant and do my taxes for this year. Again, these are kind of getting a little personal, but you know, weird. if you want to, um, weird. 
If you want to buy his work, contact him on uh, Neo Country. Let's remember I have a Cannondale with um, Cannondale's Don't Come True. Cheap, and that's uh, bought from artwork money. So, so there you go. Leather jacket. And Not doing too bad. Yeah, leather hats. jackets. Um, these are Harley Davidson glasses. So it's legit. Too All legit right. to quit. That's what they say, man. Yeah, I don't say that. Too legit to quit. Brother, oh boy. I have a Cannondale. He's got a minivan. It's it's a legit operation, so be careful. All right. Next question is from TattooGuy73 at AOL.com. Mm, that's a pretty, pretty cool name. How many tattoos do you guys have? Ooh. Well, design. collectively, we've got one. Yeah. Um, but that being said, it's similar Maybe we to both have a half, and when we yeah. go together, we got a whole similar like, two hearts. about the motorcycle. I don't have a motorcycle yet, but I have like I I close 50 this. motorcycle shirts for when I do get the motorcycle. And same, I have a lot of tattoo designs for when I'm ready to start getting tattoos, but I'm not quite ready yet. So I think one's enough for two people. Uh, well, one's enough for two people. And I'm a married man. I got kids. I'm not going to go out and get any new ink. Well, and I will. I'll be getting a lot of ink in the near future. Okay, All so right. that answers that question from Tattoo Guy. Great question. Thank All right, guys. Question. Next question from Sandeek from downstairs. I'll probably get my first uh, tattoo. It's going to be a face tat or maybe even like an eyelid. I tat. guarantee you will not do that. Sandeek asks, well, okay. if you were stranded on a desert island, what DVD or Blu-ray would you want to have? Definitely a Blu-ray. I don't do DVD, HD. Well, you're probably not going to have a Blu-ray on an island. You're going to have whatever they provide you. Well, I'll take my chances because I'm not going to watch low definition video. I will get a Blu ray. Definitely a Blu ray. And what would my Blu ray be? The Notebook. Probably. Oh my gosh. It's a good movie. Okay, I pick VHS because VHS is very durable. Okay. And there aren't, there aren't going to be any magnets on the island to demagnetize. Well, okay, if that's VHS. the case, then I get the future video, whatever HD that will be. If you're going to go back to VHS, that would one. With Zombie Strippers with Jenna Jameson. Okay, that's Or. Just... Uh, the original Dust Before Dawn with um, Quentin Tarantino, which also has the semi zom That's pretty vulgar. Moment. Okay, well, see, I'm but going with Notebook first, because it's kind of got... is my first choice because the cinematography and great acting. Okay, well, The Classic. Notebook because it's kind of, it, it's a dramatic uh, romance. Uh, that. Okay, well... It's a good canvas boating shoe. <laughs> okay, material. well, maybe it is. Okay, I'm cool with that. All right, so what's the next question? Uh, the last question is... How would you get your this is for both of you guys. Okay. How would you get your mini band today? All right. Well, do you have any questions for each other? Uh, that's a good question. Oh, whoa! Throwing it back at us. Wow. It's like a another step or something, another level. Uh, what questions would I have for Chris? Let me think. What questions would you have for me? Um, I would say if you ever learned how to animate using video, which we tried early on when we come to Texas. What software would you use? Wait, what? <laughs> well, that's a pretty cool question. I there's a lot of uh, really. uh Well, I'm um. That's a good question. Um, good question. That's a good question. My question to you. Um. Maybe who my BFF is. Well, we've we been doing the show for a while, yeah, so I know, we, we just say, hey, who's okay. your BFF? All right, let's get it on, on film. What, who is your BFF? Gizzard, my okay. chihuahua. Definitely. Um, I bet you thought I was going to say you, mm -hmm. but no. Okay. I'm saying Gizzard. Gizzard, I miss you. I'll be home soon. Okay. Well, that... Sorry. I know you were... Oh. All right, whatever. That's cool. I don't know. I don't have a question for you, so... Yeah, don't. All right. That's it. It's our show. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Email us at Welcome Texas. Wake up, Wake up TX, TX at gmail.com. Wake up, Texas.